Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's six o'clock. It's time for another Magic Live. Now, this is a new routine by Alakazam. Uh, it's called Doodle Queens. It's a new Alakazam trick. Uh, and it's a packet trick. Now, what I've done is I've added a blank deck to this because I think it just adds a little bit at the beginning. It adds an extra phase at the beginning uh, and it allows me to bring in a presentation about um, imagination. Anyway, you'll see. Uh, have a look at the routine right now. Here we go. Here we go. So, uh, I've got Sarah behind the camera. Hey, Sarah. Hey. We're going to do something with you. I've got a blank deck of cards here. Okay. Now the blank on both sides. This is what a deck of cards looks like before you uh, before you print them. Right. Uh, you can't play cards with cards like this. Uh, you know, you wouldn't know whether you'd won, you wouldn't know whether you'd lost or you'd drawn or anything like that. It'd be impossible to play cards. But we're going to try and do something, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Using your imagination, because I know you're a very imaginative person. Right. Uh, we need four cards. So as I uh, just say, stop anytime you want to. Stop. Cool. So you want that one, yeah? Yeah. And again? Uh, stop. And it, because they're all blank, it doesn't really matter. Another one? Another one. Um, stop. And then before I get to the end, that's three. One more. Uh, stop. Cool. Four. Are you happy with those? Yeah. Uh, if you want to, I can switch uh, them out for a different one if you want to, or, or are we good with that? That's We're good. Fine. We're good. Cool. So, <clears throat> like I said, this is all to do with your imagination. Yeah. I tend to find that people have a better imagination when they were kids. Children tend to have a better imagination. So I want you to remember back when you were seven years old. I want you to imagine when you were seven years old, you decided that you wanted to make your own pack of cards. And you were going to design all of the cards yourself. Mm -hmm. And you were going to start with the queens. So I want you to imagine what a queen would look like. I would never if have you... done this at seven, but okay, I'll try and imagine. <laughs> try and imagine. Imagine what, what a queen would look like if a seven-year-old was designing. Right. Well, let's see if we can use this. Watch, watch, watch right here. You see, if I just give this a shake, what happens is check that out. I think, I think that's not bad. I think a seven-year-old Sarah uh, would have done that. <laughs> no, no, seriously, I wouldn't. You, yeah. could, you, know, you could have picked right. any cards. But what's interesting is you got the fronts. You got the backs. Right. What's okay. interesting is you got the fronts, you got the backs... You actually managed to get the, uh, the four queens, which is pretty impressive. But now that I've got the four queens, I can do a trick. And I want you to watch really carefully. The queen of clubs, this one right here, right. that's kind of the, uh, the queen that's the most powerful. Okay. Uh, in, in magic, we call this the leader queen. Uh, and I'll show you why. If I pop that queen right there in the middle, face down, so the others are face up. Right. All I have to do is wave my hand over and wait a second. And when I do, another queen turns face up. Because it's yeah. trying to do what the Queen of Clubs did. I'll do that again. Watch. All I have to do is wave my hand over. Wait a second. And the next Queen turns face up. Because it wants to be doing what the Queen of Clubs did. Now the last one, you know exactly what's going to happen. All I have to do is snap this time. And look at that. Every single one of these has turned face down. Which is pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, you imagined what these cards would look like. And this is a pretty good example of what a card would look like as a, right. a seven-year-old. Yeah. But as an adult, you wouldn't design a card like that. So no. watch that Queen of Clubs. If I do this, okay. I can actually uh, print it. Okay. But not only that one, that one. Yeah. And hopefully, if I've done this right, let's just wait a second for the ink to permeate. There you go. Every single one of these cards, every single one of them <laughs> is now printed, not only on the backs... Fronts. But it's actually printed on the fronts as well. We've got we've got four proper cards. But right. do you know do you know the thing about an imagination, Sarah? Yeah. The thing about imagination is it's not real. Okay. Uh, you're only imagining. Now let me show you what I mean. If I snap my fingers, right? Do you know what happens? No. I'll tell you. What happens is we go back to the way we were. We go okay. back to having four queens that look like the sort of thing that a kid was drawn. But if we go further back in our imagination, yeah. Yeah. We can take these cards and give a little shake. And when we do, you can see that there's no queens. All we have is a back of blank cards like we did at the very, very beginning. And that is my handling of Doodle Queens. Let me know what you think. I love it as a packet trick. But I think that by adding a blank deck of cards, and, and it just kind of gives it a, a beginning and an end that I really like. But I'd love to know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know. Uh, and if you want to see more videos like this, please like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. I'll be back tomorrow. My name's Craig from Magic TV.